Hi, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out who is in love with you and why. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. And today is the 15th of June, 2023. Time here in uh, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is 10.49 a.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. If you were to finally guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same sign. Spirits and angels, please show me for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Who is in love with them and why? This reading could apply to you in the past, currently, or in the future. Ace of Pentacles in one verse at the bottom of the deck. So this person could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Two of Cups here is in one verse. You're separated from this person, but but it feels like even though both of you are separated, but this person is still in love with you. Okay, this per if you're the feminine energy here. Um, and your person is this person is a masculine energy so they love you they're in love with you because you've provided them with stability you've been very honest very loyal you were their backbone they were you were their biggest supporter at one point in time okay so they love you for that because um, it's a very grounded energy with the queen of pentacles um, hmm by the Ace of Swords, here's the world first, Two of Pentacles. This person may have lied to you, may have juggled two persons at the same time. Eight of Pentacles, Four of Swords, this person constantly thinks about you. They, they're in love with you because you work really hard. There's something you work really hard for them or for yourself or for this connection, okay, or, or everything. Eight of Cups, you've already walked away from this person because you were really, really unhappy at one point in time. It's, it's a very simple, clear um, message, actually. So this person, King of Cups is the king of love, so yeah, this person is in love with you. If you're the feminine energy, it doesn't matter, yeah, we have both feminine and masculine, but if you're the feminine energy, you may, you're the feminine one, uh, and if you're the masculine one and they're the feminine one, then it could, you know, go vice versa. Hmm. Let's see more. <laughs> you guys know already, you could go vice versa, okay? It's a general reading. And all my readings, I post it almost every single day, so it's not gonna resonate with you every single time, okay? If it's not your reading, it's not your reading. Got the Nine of Wands, Ace of Pentacles in reverse, the Star in reverse, the Moon in reverse, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Queen of Wands in reverse. Yeah, you're not with this person, but you lived with this person in the same house before in the past. If not, could have talked about living together, could have talked about getting married, could have also have been married, could also have children with this person or a child with this person. Uh, whatever the case is, that was some sort of, I feel like your connection with this person was serious at one point, okay? The moon in reverse, you may have found something out about them, and then this connection just didn't take off. Started off strong, but didn't take off. They may have lied, may have cheated on you. Um, not on once, yep, they have hurt you before. The star in reverse, yeah, this is someone you, you found really, really hard to recover from. Um, the betrayal, perhaps, um, whatever secrets that you may have found out that was being revealed to you, it still probably haunts you till today, till today, okay? Queen of Wands in love first, most likely put you in a third party situation. Definitely a big cheater here, okay? But, you know, sometimes, I don't know, it feels like even though they cheated on you, but they, they, they loved you, you know? It's very twisted, right? Because, especially if it's the, the masculine energy, again, it doesn't matter, it could go vice versa, but um, some people cheat because they're being tempted, 
because you're drunk for many reasons but whatever the case is here it feels like the reason why they cheated wasn't because they didn't love you okay so this is someone who has cheated on you but still love loved you and still does love you um now <laughs> okay hope that makes sense to you because they see your qualities they see your value your worth and maybe you're different from the rest you you have been there for this person but unfortunately they have cheated on you look at the emperor so this person could be an aries could be a libra gemini aquarius like you are it could be a libra again but i feel like you know someone see not of sorts you were so upset with this person you told this person off you made a very important decision very big decision to cut this person off to walk away from this person because the two cups of moments it, you know i feel like even though now now maybe the feelings are not mutual because they still love you but you don't anymore okay you've already walked away from this person but i feel like you still think about this person but this person pushes you to become a better uh, i wouldn't say a better person but more so like a better version of yourself especially in terms of your independence in terms of your career pushes you to um, this experience with this person makes you want to succeed even more i hope that makes sense to you six of swords this person could be living far away from you are or um could be a foreigner somebody of a different background but yeah two cards that indicate walking away you've already walked away from this person but maybe this person would like to reconcile with you but i don't see you really wanting to i see you feeling very negative about this person because whatever that was being found out i don't think it's gonna be easy for you to completely forget about it or to forgive this person Hmm. Yeah, the emperor right next to the queen of wands in the first. Yeah, this person may have been uh, very controlling, but then <laughs> it feels that like this person was controlling and acting as though they were right all the time, like they were good to you, they were uh, faithful, but actually they were not. This is why this person really upset you, right? Made you so like pissed off pissed off with this person seriously because they acted as though they were they were the good one the right one the, the one who was possibly trying to control everything but then turned out they were a liar a cheater to the pentacles they were juggling two person at the same time but again weirdly this person is in love with you okay Again, it's, it's, it feels like whatever they did to you in the past, it was be for different reasons, but definitely not because they didn't love you, okay? So that's what I'm seeing here. And, you know, this reminded me of this story, my friend's story, actually. She, she was like, oh, I thought, I thought my boyfriend loved me so much. He always texts me and says, you know, asking me are you home now are you asleep now like wanting to know her every move but turned out it was just him trying to control because he wanted to know where she was so that they wouldn't run into each other whenever he goes on a date with someone else <laughs> so and she later on found out that that was the reason why but then she thought oh he's just being controlling uh, or wanting to know everywhere i go because he loves me because he cares about me so this could be that as well for some of you yeah this is this could be someone that you thought they cared that they were being a responsible partner but actually it turned out they were doing all of those things but being also a hypocrite at the same time or just trying to know where your whereabouts so that they could juggle the two person at the same time 
But again, this person loves you despite everything that they have done to you. And possibly King of Cups in a right position still is in love with you, all right? Anyway, this is your reading, Gemini Libra and Aquarius. Hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you like the book, me, my information is in the description box below. And feel free to subscribe to my other channel. It's called Chelsea Vlogs. It's my travel channel. If you'd like to be notified every time when I post your videos, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. And also, I'm going to go live pretty soon. Maybe in a few days' time. I don't know. So make sure you are being notified. And don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. Take care. Bye.